speak. This is the biggie. I'll tell you what, this is the final. All the riders have worked really hard to get out. Absolutely. This is it. Absolutely. It's going to be one smashing contest today. We're going to find out who is going to be the overall winner of the BMX Schweppes Freestyle Television Championship. Don't carry away that big Schweppes trophy. Oh, there's some wonderful trophies and some wonderful contestants. And here we can see the UK BMX organiser, Colin Pepper. Colin, what on earth is going on? What are you up to? Well, I'm scrutinising the bikes, Alistair, before any good what? competition. Oh, you did a Charles Lawton impression. No, I'm scrutinising the bikes. I'm scrutinising. Yeah? That's and what right. are you looking for? Well, I'm looking to see that the bikes really are safe and in excellent condition, yes. and that must be done before any competition, so that we know that the rider is riding safe. So, what would be wrong on the bikes well, that you would sort of disqualify them? We might um, have bad brakes. We might not have. The, there might be a crack on the frame. There might be one of the appendages, which was a little bit dodgy and dangerous. Colin, we're we going to have to clear because we're going right. to go. Don't baffle appendages. So All right, now we've got. What are the contestants? Ooh. Okay, the contestants are Stuart Winder from Carlisle. <laughs>
Nice to control. Marched into a cowboy. Awesome, no handed. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. Okay, time out for Mason Smith. And the next competitor is Karen Jones. Karen Jones representing the TSW TV region. Comes from Hale in Cornwall. Didn't quite make it that time, but he's going to have another go. Didn't quite get it, but he used to ride his brother's bike, so he thought he'd get into it himself. OK, he's going well. Two picker, no handed. And that'll be nicely. 30 seconds to go. And his favourite trick is a cherry picker. And a nice inverted handlebar stand. Going nice infinity roll. Time out for Kieran Jones. Okay, the next competitor is Glenn Lewis. <laughs> and a nice 360 to start with. Atmosphere is absolutely electric here. Nicely onto the bike, bringing it back over again. Into the handstand situation! Absolutely humongous! And brings the bike back over nicely onto the frame. Nice bit of posing there. Brings the frame back down. 30 seconds to go, Glenn. Representing the TVS TV area. One foot in front hop. It's no head, no foot in wrong. <laughs> Getting excited, yeah. Like Jean Michael Jean. And the most difficult trick is just staying on the bike. Well, he's certainly staying on the bike nicely here today. Okay. That was big nice, and that's the end of the first section. Give them some applause. Okay, right. We've got here Mason Smith. We're looking at the slow mo. Mason, that's a very different kind of front hops there. Um, what do you call it? I call it hot whip. It's because it's like a frame whip with hops in it. And you just keep going with my spinner. Right, I noticed on your bike there you've got quite a few pegs and different accessories. How big a part do they actually play in the tricks that you're pulling off? Uh, it makes quite a big part in the balance, you know, balance tricks. Because you're just using the stand on, balancing, things like that. Right, so in other words, without those accessories it would be a lot more difficult to do the tricks? Oh yeah, definitely. OK, right, well, thanks a lot, Mason. Go for it. Let's talk to Alistair. Thanks very much indeed, Andy. Gail, come over here with the score for the first part of this great final. What a final it is, too. Stuart Peppy Winder, 185. <laughs> to the last BMX beat teaching here on the big final. This is it. Very, very tense today, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. That's well, right. We've got two moves to have a look at, a Miami hopper and a drop-in. And what's quite interesting is they're going to be demoed for us by Andy Preston, who finished second That's right. in last year's in BMX fact, Andy beat Andy was um, trick riding with yeah. Mike Pardon. They was doing their own shows last year. Um, so we've got Andy with us today to show well, us his Well, come tricks. on down, Andy Preston. Here he comes. Here he Andy is. Preston. Woo. All right, Andy. Yeah, so I mean, what actually do you, I mean, do you do an awful lot of demos and around the country? Yeah, we go all over the place doing demos for Scorpion and Halfords at the moment. Yeah. So we're doing a big national championships at the end of this year. 
Uh, Have you noticed a big growth in interest over the last year in BMX? Yeah, it settled off a bit when all the kids bought the race bikes, but now all the kids who uh, thinking that they're not as good at racing as they could be at freestyle are going out and buying freestyle bikes, you know. Now, so. The two moves that you're going to show us are Miami Hopper and Drop In. You're going to do one after the other. What, uh, tell me about them both, Miami Hopper and Drop In. Miami Hopper is basically an endo. Yeah, you go up on your front wheel, but instead of coming straight back down again, you turn your handlebars and balance on the front wheel and the handlebars with the back wheels in the air. Okay, and the Drop In? It's just a, it's a very easy trick to explain. It's just as it says to drop in. You go on top of the quarter pipe and just drop in. Okay, off you go. Put the helmet on. The safety gear goes on. On this big day, the final. Here we go, Andy. Talk us through. Right. Okay. The tail on the back of his helmet obviously brings him luck. <laughs> but anyway, into the Miami Hopper. The idea is to balance on the handlebars. You have to have reasonably long legs for this one. To stretch over onto your pedals. That was a nice variation. One footed, and then bring the bike back again. And right away. Very good, very good. That's, two, that's, that's basically called two different names, Miami Hopper and the Cowboy. So okay. whichever you prefer, basically. Let's move straight into the drop-in. Okay, now this is a difficult one. Now you've got a basic drop-in and you've got variations, obviously. Andy is going to pull off one of the most difficult variations. In fact, probably the most difficult, a no-handed drop-in. Very good. Now, obviously, as you can appreciate, you that's see that once again? Do you fancy doing that once more? Very, very difficult. You have to get up onto the top of the quarter pipe. And just make sure the brakes are fully locked on. He's got a coaster brake, which helps. Very good. I have to have a coaster good. brake for that one because Thanks he's pedaling backwards and that locks the brake on. Listen, we're going to take a, an early break from BMX Beat Teaching because I know all the contestants are going to be really wired right. for sound right yep, now. We've had the first section. We're now moving on to the second section. BMX Freestyle. It's pretty exciting. Very, very tense. Let's move back to the final in the main arena. Keep watching. section and the riders can pull off anything they want to do they can use the van so they can use the ground nicely back onto the bike this is Stuart Winder representing the Boulder TV region nice on top of the ramp and funny enough he started BMX 